A Richmond woman is desperate and at her wits end tonight after she says she and her children were evicted from a homeless shelter with all of their thro belongings thrown out without warning. Thanks for joining us for 8 News at 11. I'm Eric Phillips. I'm Deanna Albritton. After having an emergency C-section at the hospital, a homeless mother was heartbroken to find the Richmond hotel room where she was living had been emptied out and a new family had moved in. In an exclusive interview, 8 News reporter Ben Dennis is taking action and getting answers tonight for her. Ben, what do you know? Eric and Deanna, tonight I spoke with that young single mother in Richmond who's now living in her car with her kids, 7 and 11 years old. They were last living at this Days Inn Hotel off of Midlothian Turnpike from the help of Commonwealth Catholic Charities, but it's also where their belongings were last seen. You know, my hospital bag for me just having my baby. Nicole Thweet is unsure where to turn days after delivering her premature daughter at the hospital. All these little containers are breast milk storage bottles. She's now living in her car with her two oldest kids. After leaving the hospital on Friday and returning to the Days Inn hotel room she was living in, when she arrived, left shocked. Before I stick the key in, I heard voices on the other side. So I knocked and a little girl open, comes and opens the door and I'm like... Another family had moved in. Her belongings were gone. Everything, clothes, shoes, hats, coats, all of our social security cards, medi medi you know, Medicaid cards. A representative with Catholic Charities who helps house homeless people like Fleet at the hotel tell me they disposed of her belongings. Oh, this is all I have. Thrown out. They tell us if rooms are not being used, they move in another family. But Fleet like, says no one contacted her in advance. I feel like I've been robbed of my whole life. For now, the car is home. And my son, he likes to sleep beside me. We lean the seat all the way back, and my daughter, she'll just lay back here. Tonight, her oldest kids are out of the cold at a friend's house. Her other daughter, in newborn intensive care, weighing less than two pounds. With me being in the hospital, I did not know that I had to call, call anyone to let them know, hey, I'm in, you know, I'm, I'm having my baby early. Commonwealth Catholic Charities went on to say that their housing program at this hotel is not forever. The timeline typically lasts 60 days, but Thweet was there for that amount of time, but she says she wasn't told about that timeline, nor did she know that it might have been up. And I asked Catholic Charities why they didn't, why they didn't rather call her and tell her before they were removing her belongings. They had said that she was no longer a client, but she's welcome to reapply for the program. Thweet tells me she does not have any intention to do that. In Richmond, Ben Dennis, 8 News.